we're moving on with the suspension rebuild, the next stage of which will be to replace these worn bronze bushes. This is one of the suspension levers. They fit into the hole and pivot at that point up and down with a bogey truck on. That's the suspension pivot pin, which goes straight through that hole, through the bush and secures it into the hole. Unfortunately, again, due to the age of the vehicle and the wear and tear, these bushes have become quite badly worn. If I, these should be a nice, a nice fit without any play. As you can see, there's quite considerable play in that bush to the pin. Uh, we're gonna get a whole new set of these bronze bushes manufactured, which will then be uh, re-tolerant to the pin sizes. Uh, again, we should have the correct tolerances um, with careful maintenance, they won't wear out. This is one of the Matilda suspension levers, which after shot blasting, we now discovered some cracks in the uh, actual construction, which we'll have to rectify before we put the new bushes in. These welds have actually cracked right the way through. They could be stress cracking, or more likely, when it's had a bit of a pain, didn't go cross country, something's given way a bit. While the uh, bushes are being man the new bushes being manufactured, we're carrying on with the rest of the suspension. So we've shot blasted the uh, lever arms here. The new bushes will obviously be pushed into there when they're made. Bogey trucks have been shot blasted, painted into the new finished colour, which is going to be this khaki green shade, the original shade of the suspension, which we found in underneath all the muck, etc. And then we've started to assemble the new bearings into the track rollers. Uh, on this table we have some of the uh, trap rollers which are the, the main road would be equivalent to a road wheel but they're called trap rollers on this vehicle as you can see there's a lot of components involved mainly bearings spacers etc we uh, <clears throat> found a lot of wear and tear in these vehicles uh, parts on this vehicle so therefore we're in the process now of replacing those worn parts bearings oil seals etc when we started to dismantle the components we found a degree of wear and tear in them. This is a, one of the eight labyrinth seal assemblies which goes on the outside of the wheel, etc. It's a two-part assembly, that's the inner labyrinth, that's the outer labyrinth. They fit together like that, then they're held with a pin in the bogey unit we, we saw earlier, painted green. Inside that assembly is also an oil seal. The original ones are completely shot, so we had to replace them. This is a modern oil seal. Unfortunately, you can't quite get the exact size you want, so you had to do a little bit of modification. So we've, we've made some tooling and we've trimmed the outside of the seal to the right diameter. So it's a nice press fit inside the housing there. Then once that's bolted on, the bearings are in the wheel, that's bolted on with some sealant. Final assembly is that pushes in and then it goes into the bogey truck. As you can see on the table, there are lots and lots of components. These are all kept in bearing sets from the original because we had to use the original spacers that have to go back in to match the wheel they came from. So as you can see, we've done a lot of cleaning, a lot of shot blasting, a lot of new components. That's a typical one of the roller, main uh, roller bearings out one, which has got corrosion in the thrust race there, in the race, so that needs replacing. If I just manoeuvre that wheel slightly, that's... That is the new outer race already pressed into the wheel, put on with a bit of bearing fit. And I'll just take the, this component out of the bag and show you then. This has had the original component, which is a spacer there. Out of that wheel, out of that position, it's all been kept together very carefully. So we put the same components back in the same place in the same wheel. That drops into the outside like so. On the inner part of the wheel, just there, is a thrust race, the thrust bearing, which is a, a three-part assembly. This is an old one, so you can see the state that the old ones were in when we took them apart. See corrosion in the races. Some of the ball bearings are actually quite badly corroded as well. So they've been replaced. We've already pressed the inner part of the race into the inside of the wheel. Again, you can just see down the bottom there. And this part, these are the new the new races, again with the spacer already fitted, the original spacer, that just fits inside the wheel like so. So that, that forms the inner thrust bearing. And as I mentioned, that then fits into the 
like so. Add your labyrinth seal, goes on there, and it's bolted up and then wire locked. Oil seal goes in. Then that is the last part goes in there it's a press fit we won't put it in at the moment because we just uh, we do that on final assembly you need to lubricate it that will then go in and that literally is retained by the bracket on the bogey assembly and that's one roller assembly and we've got to do 20 of those <laughs>